In Acts chapter 27, Paul finds himself on a sailing vessel, a ship, and there's 276 people on board, most of them prisoners, of which Paul is a prisoner himself. He's on his way to Rome to face Caesar for charges that have been brought against him by the Jews. And so Paul is on this ship, they're, they're sailing, and if you like drama on the high seas, read Acts chapter 27, because a storm erupts, and they don't see the sun or the stars for days. In fact, the ship begins to break apart, they have to offload all the cargo, people aren't eating. It's a crazy scenario. And God does something amazing with the Apostle Paul. He takes him from being a prisoner to almost making him the one who's in charge of the ship. He gives Paul a vision at night because everyone is freaking out. Listen to what it says here in Acts chapter 27, and I'll read verse 20. Now, when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we should be saved was finally given up. They're hopeless. But then Paul has this vision. Listen to what he says and what he saw. It says, for there stood by me this night, Paul talking to the people on the ship, an angel of God to whom I belong, whom I serve, saying, don't be afraid. Paul, you must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe that it will be just as it was told to me by the Lord. So Paul be came as a prisoner on the ship, but ends up being the one that's giving direction and encouragement and hope to everyone. So listen, in a storm, in a difficulty, in tight places, being someone who's uh, facing maybe even death, Paul receives leadership, encouragement, and he becomes a great hope to all those on that ship. A powerful story for you. Maybe you're in a storm. Maybe you're in a difficult time. God's with you. He hasn't left you. And he will use you. And there's one more thing I want to close out that's very interesting in chapter 27. It's the first mention of surfing in the Bible. This ship breaks up. They're, they're caught on a reef and they have to get off the reef into the shore. And it says this. Some swam, listen to what it says, and the rest got on boards and made their way in. The first time I ever saw surfing in the Bible.